He said that even if he were, he expected either to be assassinated or to leave his country. But at 10 minutes to 10, Khomeini was being helped down the steps of his chartered Air France jet to set foot on Iranian ground for the first time in 15 years. His first moments were uncomfortable ones. He became increasingly nervous. Khomeini's name was the rallying cry that brought down the Shah, and now to his followers waiting outside the airport, he's the implacable opponent of Dr. Bakhtiar's government. The people were in a frenzy to catch just a glimpse of the man they revere like a god. They clawed and clambered and ran to see and be near him for 15 miles, and no more than a tiny fraction of the multitude succeeded. marshals had volunteered to help keep the crowds back. Their job was impossible. The immense swell of support for Khomeini makes his fully understand his plans for an Islamic Republic. Most see it in simple terms, as a permanent end to the Shah and a return to some ancient idea of justice. But today his followers were cheering more than an idea. They were welcoming an old man they believe is capable of anything. Derek Taylor, News at One, Tehran.